Welcome to Johannesburg, South Africa. When last we left Dirk, he gave us an introduction to his new Land Cruiser 76. Modifications have now begun in the workshop, and judging by Dirk's excitement, Christmas has come early this year. It's Christmas! <laughs> um, so, we're not endorsed by Frontrunner. We're not sponsored by Frontrunner. Um, we know their product. We've used it many times. It's tried, it's tested, and it's never let us down. We've never had broken or cracked feet, anything like that. So, we know what we're buying when you buy a Frontrunner. It's a good quality product. I'll rate it. I use it. This is bought and paid for. Personally, it's not sponsored. So, just putting it out there. This is the roof rack uh, that comes in a kit form. It's flat pack. We've got the uh, rack there. I've got our engineer, local engineer. He's going to make sure that I do it properly. He's going to oversee the project. So these are all your slats and your end pieces as well as your side sections over there. We've got your slats over here and we have your front and rear on each side. These are your feet comes there's six individual feet these are the bolts and nuts that come with but this is a nice little caps to finish them off make everything look good and those are all the tools that you need to put it together And cheers folks, it's about beer o'clock. The cruiser's looking a lot more overland ready. It's got a roof rack on it. So that looks, that looks quite good. I think we did a sterling job there. My dad's still busy with the ladder. A couple of small things still to do on the vehicle today. We are going to be getting rid of the two front spots for a very good reason. One, we almost never drive at night, um, especially when touring, so it's, very close to sundown and we're off the road. Two, they're shot, they're buggered. And three, they just cut off wind flow to the, or airflow to the radiator. There's a couple of other mods that we're gonna be intent on doing, but that's to still to come. So there's a bash plate, seat covers, and then the ladder. So let me show you what's going on with the ladder. What's wrong with the ladder? What's wrong with the ladder? Yeah. Let's go around the back and show you. Let's go check. And smash the glass out. That's the one thing that they tell you in the manual. Right, here's the problem. Go in the back there. When installing this, you've got to take off your back number plate light and handle. So when you reattach it to here, where your mounting holes are for your ladder, it's going to push you away this handle so that you're going to get water penetrating in the back here and through those holes going to leak back into the door and we'll probably rust them out in no time so what we need to do is the thickness of the ladder material needs to be cut away from the edge of the handle there and there so we'll cut this away slightly so that this goes back closer with the rubber in the back so that it closes up this back Hello, Herky. What you are doing? Oh, we're holding the whole box for the runner. Because the ones they supply can't fit a battery box, but if you emit, you change it, the battery box fits. You see, this? these are the filler pieces 
that front runners supply you with a standard with the draw system um, for the 76 which is this draw system here and they basically have made it equal equal filler pieces on each end so what Harad is doing is he's making the one side narrower than the other side because these brackets that they supply obviously are for different models they are adjustable these so he's narrowed the one side and given him more space on the other side so that he can fit the 105 amp battery in the DC to DC charger without having additional boxes and stuff. It's hidden away here, it's pretty low. So that's a good place for the battery. And today, the house looks like Cruiser Valley and Conqueror Valley. It looks like we're bloody endorsed by these companies, but we're not. So that's my and Imogene's uh, Conqueror over there. That's one vehicle. That's my dad and Ismay's. That's another vehicle. And that one down there is Julia and Gerard. So Julia is my sister. And Gerard is my brother-in-law to be. And the reason why that is like that is because we are getting ready for a trip. We can't stand the city anymore. So we are trying to get out of Dodge. And uh, But more on that later, more on where we're going. And yeah, right now I'm going to stop talking nonsense and actually finish my car. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. Next time on 4WD Africa. Herman gets to work on installing the ladder. Gerard works on his box. Dirk gets a chance to go for a test drive. And things get heated in the office. Don't do that. I'm going to hit you in the chops. See you next time.